there's so much to talk about here at the 2010 NBA Draft. My pleasure to have three-time world champion from the Chicago Bulls, Mr. Wolf Perdue, on the show. Well, pleasure to be here. Thank you. And I want to talk to you. You um, went to Vanderbilt. You were drafted in 1988. And uh, A.J. Ogilvie, another big man, is uh, is projected to be in the early to mid-second round. So talk about, um, have you given him any advice on how to deal with the situation and when he gets drafted on how to uh, be able to make an impact and put his work ethic to the test? Yeah, I mean, I've actually had the opportunity to work with A.J. prior to the draft to try to work on his skill set, to try to move him, him up. In the draft. Congratulations. In the draft. Oh my but, God. You know, it's kind of interesting how the draft is so much different. Back when I came in 88, we actually the draft was still here at the garden, but yet it was during the afternoon. I actually got drafted, walked, shook the, the commissioner's hand, walked off the stage, picked up the phone, talked to the Bulls, out the back door, and jumped in a cab on the way to the airport. Whereas now it's a big production. But the main thing I talked to AJ about was just the situation of how, if you get drafted, whether you get drafted, you know, how to be productive and what it is that is expected of you once you. You know, you get to the next level. Talk about what you're up to now with um, with the Avengers. Well, I'm actually here working for uh, ESPN Radio, and uh, we cover the event tonight. So you have uh, it's all covered: television, internet, radio, get all, all the outlets covered, so that uh, anybody can, depending on where they are and what they're doing, can uh, watch or listen to the draft tonight. Talk about your run, uh, three-time champion with the Chicago Bulls, part of the three-headed monster, uh, and everything with Luke Longley and Bill Wellington. So, talk about um, like what what did you take out of that situation, and and how was Phil Jackson able to really be able to define each of your roles for you guys to execute? You know, it's kind of interesting you mentioned that you're talking about a team that was developed through both the draft and through free agency. I mean, B.J. Armstrong, myself, Stacey King, guys that were picked through the draft. And then free agents like a Craig Hodges or a Cliff Levingston or somebody of that nature. So they did a nice mix of the two. But, you know, Phil did a nice job of, of keeping Luke and Bill and I uh, kind of even keel because everybody wants to play and they want to play a lot of minutes. But uh, he felt it was most effective to kind of do the three-man rotation. So depending on our opponent, depending on who the individuals were on the floor, he did a pretty good job of balancing that out. You know, uh, what's the message that you have for these young players about being able to make the sacrifices for the betterment of the team and for the betterment of advancing together? Well, I think they understand what that is. The biggest thing that I always tell these guys is, is just regardless of where you go and what team it is, and you got to have confidence in yourself and your abilities. You got drafted for a reason. So the reason is because you can play. So take those skill, the skill set that you have and use it to your best advantage in the game. And one of the things that I actually learned from B.J. Armstrong when we're playing together is just always be humble and always work on getting better because as good as you are, you can always be a little better. Question for you, which players on film really impressed you? Maybe some sleepers, you know, which which guys really impressed well, you? One guy that I got to see a lot living in Louisville, Kentucky, was DeMarcus Cousins at, at Kentucky. And uh, for a big man that's so young, I mean, the, the footwork that he had uh, was probably what impressed me the most. You can be an enforcer in the league, too, as well. I can see that. <laughs> well, at that size, I mean, he's 7 feet, 265 already. He's only going to get bigger and stronger. Well, thank you for your time, sir. It was a pleasure to have you on so much to talk about. You bet.